Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another YouTube video over on Tasty's channel. My name is Tom and today what I have for you in the background is an absolutely unbelievable gameplay by no other than Doom Tasty. Guys, today he is going ham once again and guys, we need to just drop a like quite simply for Tasty's ability. Oh my god, how the heck has he got this gameplay? What you're going to be watching in the background is in fact the world's first buzz cut nuclear He's using the Dark Matter buzz cut, playing Domination on the map EVAC, and guys, this is an unbelievable gameplay, guys. I really do hope you enjoy it in the background. If you do, make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe for Tasty for more insane content. And guys, if you did enjoy the commentary too, then the link to my channel will also be at the top of the description. But guys, today, what I'm going to be talking about is the melee weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, because I, I quite like them, to be fair. I think they're really cool. I like what Call of Duty have done now in, in the fact that they've released... Well, we all hate the fact that we have supply drops and the kind of the... Uh, things where we have to spend lots of money and try and get new things, but I like the fact that Call of Duty have the ability to put in new stuff constantly every every month or so. And obviously, we've just got these new weapons, the uh, the buzz cut being one of them. Uh, we've got a couple of new camos and a couple of bits of headgears and things like that too. And I really quite like the idea of them doing this. It's really good. It makes the game uh, keep its like keep its interest. It makes everyone uh, keep playing it because they want to go and get the new weapons and they want to play well with them and they want to. You know do stuff and it makes it good for this channel too especially with tasty because you know what i think about the fact that if tasty posted just triple nucleus or double nucleus every single day people will get quite bored of it really easily and just they just kind of go off it and not really uh, not really want to watch them anymore because after a while the same gameplay over and over again gets boring but with the fact that they're releasing new stuff like map packs and like obviously the uh, the stuff that they've released uh, recently we know for a fact that it's way more interesting to watch Tasty go ham and play with different weapons and get different kinds of gameplays. Really, really, really unique stuff. And this buzz cut is a, oh, it looks like, it's like a, hmm, well, it's like an axe with like a saw kind of thing on the end of it. It looks absolutely epic. It looks uh, really, really, looks like it hurts a lot when you're hit with it. Um, and it's a one shot kill just like any other melee weapon in the game. Uh, it's like the MVP or the, the knives and the, the switch blades and guns like that. But the thing is, with the actual uh, blades and different melee weapons in the game, we have different taunts and the way in which you can twizzle your weapon around to like to, like show it off to the enemy. And this taunt is absolutely epic. So if you press square if you're on PS4 or X if you're on the Xbox, you actually get to do a special taunt with the weapon. And this in this case, he kind of like holds the weapon out to the side, puts out his other hand and does like a come here kind of motion, like come at me bro. And it's really, really awesome. It's so aggressive and uh, it's absolutely epic. I really love it. And there are obviously other other different things with different weapons. Every one is, has its like different noise and its different effect. I know for a fact, I think it's the uh, the baseball bat that actually you can like twizzle it around and look like an absolute badass. And there are different different bits and different pieces that they put into the game that make it really, really cool. And obviously there are different stuff like taunts. I know for a fact that I haven't played Call of Duty in quite a while, but when I come back to it every now and again and we see like the uh, the game ending kill cams and stuff like that, it's really hilarious to watch some of the actual, uh, the, the stuff that they have. They've got like the dab and we've got um, the whip and <laughs> different dance moves and stuff and backflips and different taunting methods and it's really cool it makes the game a little bit more diverse and something that we want to play so what do you actually believe or have uh, what do you think about the idea of them bringing stuff into the game like this i know for a fact that i have saved up a lot of crypto keys over the while over the past while but i get to about like 30 and i get really bored and just end up spending it on a supply drop and getting absolutely nothing for it so what i've done quite sensibly now is i'm saving up to about i'm on i think i'm on 200 crypto keys and then probably going to open them all um, and try and get myself some new weapons um, but i kind of and i need to do something sensibly like that and save them up for uh, the time at which they were going to release some new stuff because they're bound to release it in the future as well so i'm going to save up again for that and try and get some more dlc stuff but i really like the idea that they're bringing out consistent dlc and uh, making it really fun and interesting for us what do you think let me know in the comment section below and guys if you stayed for all this time comment in the comment section below tasty's a god and tell me do you have any of the new supply weapons uh, just let me know uh, and what is your favorite so guys thank you very much for watching it's coming to the end of the commentary for me i really do hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background make sure you drop a like for it and subscribe if you are new of course but anyway guys that's it from me i hope to speak to you all later bye bye